Madam Ping and Cloud Retainer? Bro, we knew this was going to happen. Why are you question marking it? It appears you made haste after all. One arrived but moments before you. Yeah, because you flew. We teleported. There's a difference. Oh, bless my soul. To what do I owe the honor? How nice of you all to come and visit me. I saw your younger form. Totally would smash. Just letting you know. Miss Illuminated Bird, <laughs> haven't Flap. you said anything yet? Said what, precisely? And why should one be tasked with saying it? Yeah, Flap, you're pretty stubborn. Because you're the one who's known Madam Ping the longest. Uh, yeah. Hey, yeah. Uh, Street word. Um, <clears throat> Or rather, presumably, you would prefer to be addressed as Ping? Oh, Cloud Retainer. You are uncommonly polite today. It's been 84 years! One, uh, uh... Given that Lantern Rite is almost upon us, the weather in the city is most pleasant, and a sweet floral fragrance lingers in the air. I don't know, like to me, right, the whole Madam Ping thing? Madam Ping is not even a unique NPC. Because <laughs> there's another old chick at the bottom of Leeway, so I'm thinking that they... They had to add it to the cutscene after her young version and that was only created way afterwards because Madam Ping wasn't, spo wasn't supposed to be as liked as she is. Ahem. Uh -huh. Ganyu, please continue from here. Yes, Ganyu, take it from here. Huh? Why is everybody always putting Ganyu on the spot? Uh, alright. Okay, Ganyu, shoot. So, this all started because we were trying to help Mr. Dvorak find the Adeptus who saved his ancestor's life. Can you recount the story to Madame Street Wabla? Cloud Retainer informed us that the one who played that melody and rescued the drowning man was none other than yourself. Ah, let me think. Yes, I do believe I recall that encounter. Uh. Uh. What a long time ago that was. I'm surprised that you still remember it. I'm surprised you chose to age by 300 years, but hey, we can't all win. Even more astonishing, perhaps, is the fact that this story has survived this long at all, when mortal lives are so very brief. Are you roasting us? Are you roasting us? Just because Lumine is 500 years old, Ganyu is 500 years old, you're 20,000 and flap is flap. Uh, uh, yo, why are you hating on a the woman there in the background, still throwing shit in the water? <laughs> It appears that she has proven herself right. What? Who's she? Two and two together, Paimon. Two and two together. Who have we been talking to the about this whole time? Think, Paimon. Think. Where will we be five years from now? We like to call her Gui Jong. From the look in Cloud Retainer's eyes, I sense that she has already told you all about her. Zhong Li too. <sighs> Albeit reluctantly, one might add. <laughs> There is no harm done, after all. Lantern Rite's very purpose is to commemorate the heroes who gave their lives for Liyue. -e. Although Gui Zhong did not live to see the splendid sights of today, she was as much a hero as any other. Plus Ultra! So Once upon a time, she said to me that humans were a weak form of life that she wished to protect with her wisdom. Bitch much. But as she interacted more and more with them, her opinions on them began to change. She marveled at the beautiful complexity of their spirits, the sheer splendor of all they could accomplish through their hard work and intelligence. And thus, she learned mechanics from the humans. She told us that to underestimate human potential would be to make a grave mistake. Great. With the smallest amount of guidance, enormous power can be unleashed in them. Enormous dick energy. And a human, who has reached their full potential, may well be her equal. Yeah, it means Someone standing right over there. Someone who could have as much to teach an adeptus as to learn from them. Kaching maybe? But yeah, it means standing right over there. She always had a way with words. That her mechanical accomplishments were judged superior to one's own was, one suspects, in large part due to her sheer eloquence. I realize, right? If if Genshin Impact 
Oh, it was doesn't do a, some sort of time skip at some point. They're wasting such an opportunity for sales. Think about it. If there's a time skip and all the characters are older, or at least look taller, or something of the sort, you, you're wasting an opportunity. The sheer amount of craziness that you would get from the fans. Jeez, man. Speaking of mechanics, Cloud Retainer, do you still remember that potted plant mechanism? The one that the two of you gave me as a gift? Okay. Of course. Guizhong and one both put an immense amount of effort into that gift. It would be no overstatement to call it a testament to each of our individual technical genius. We get it. As Guizhong once said, it takes every blade of grass and every flower to make a homeland. Hey, 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 home is where the heart is. My heart is currently at home. In a jar. With pickles, pickle juice inside to make sure it survives. But I mean, okay. Can I see the sight of Leo A. Call me Davy Jones. For us today. I am reminded of this. Madam Ping looks very emotional right now. She looks like Madam Ping. Her, her face did not change at all. Well, she's been through a lot in her time. Ah. <sighs> Of all of us, it was Gui Zhong who was the fondest of these grand and exciting occasions. How about you change forms back into your old form, and then you go on stage and you have fun instead of being an old fighting dad? Huh. <laughs> if she were still with us, I'm quite sure she would still be trying to best Cloud Retainer's finest works at every opportunity. If she was still with us, she'd be like, bro, you were fine. What did you do to yourself? Are you okay? Liyue Harbor is always filled with the sound of music at this time of the year. If she were here, one is certain that she would seek you out to discuss and debate the virtues of various melodies. I realize you can't play Genshin Impact twice. Every time I play the second time, I'm far more snarky to the game than I need oh, to be. Yeah, music! Whereas I was like, Oh, good job. She's sweet. She's cute. Now I'm just an asshole to everybody because it's sick and We've been dying to ask. <laughs> what was the melody that you played back then? Sarun Goku Aten Shiro Yorodi. Oh, also, with you being such a music expert and all, why don't you join the concert as a performer? I can make arrangements right away. Oh. As much as I don't wish to dampen your enthusiasm, the cupboard, it's the cupboard. been a long time ah. since I played this zither. My fingers don't have the dexterity they once did. And whose fault is that? And whenever I play that tune, it always reminds me of her. I start wondering what she would think of the changes I have made to her melody. There was a period of time whenever I started strumming, it almost felt like she was back again. Sitting right there on the stone stool next to me, chatting away. Skybracer and Seagazer too, looking just like they did in the old days. Yes, and you, looking like you did in the older days. <laughs> no matter how much time Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just annoyed. The that melody starts playing it, transports me right back to that time in my memory. Why did you give up? Why did you give up? This form is her giving up. So the past still weighs heavily on your heart? And don't... Oh, she's changed this form so she can live with the humans. I told you already. If she wanted a different form, she could have had it. Just take over her, Catherine. No. Would you would still learn about the humans. Claim Catherine doesn't want to kill all humans. But that is not to say that grief doesn't get easier with time. I never say old Despite I mean. the sadness, I have found many things. Adding new definition to 999 life. ping. It is simply the nature of the world in which we live that even if one wished to mourn for an eternity, it would be a nigh impossible feat. Just look at this potted plant. Isn't it stunning? Look at this potted plant! It takes an honest and open mind to confront and conquer grief. <laughs> You have indeed made progress. Uh. <laughs> Be that as it may, I shall leave the lantern right stage to the youth of today. Well, if you're sure... Granny! 
Fan. Whoa, what's everyone doing here? Did something bad happen? Yeah, I kind of get why you would ask that question. Every time we hang out with you, it's something extreme. I apologize for that, Yanfei. Oh, and now we've spooked Yanfei. <laughs> no, no, everyone's just here to give me their regards for the holiday. I'm sorry, we, uh, last time we spoke, we, uh, we almost died, Yanfei. I haven't seen you in a while. How are you doing? Oh, that's wonderful. No one ever asks how he is, Yanfei. Well, in that case, happy lantern ride, everyone. Happy lantern ride. Happy lantern ride. Oh, I... I just remembered that I have some... uh... work to do at your high pavilion that I need to discuss with Yenfei. Wink, wink! I haven't been able to find a chance until now. Wink! I will leave Mr. Dvorak in your capable hands. Cloud Retainer? Ping? We will be off for now. Run, 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 run! Huh? Does it have to be right now? Which case is this again? Hey, Ganyu! Time to get mimosas. <laughs> it seems Ganyu still has much to learn when it comes to the art of deception. What a pity. She has learned nothing of one's ability to carry a conversation. Whatever one says, Flap. Since it's been so long, Cloud Retainer, why don't you stay? I'll make a cup of tea and we can chat a while. Gladly. This was one's intention as well. When you next see the Fontaine musician, please give him my regards. I'd like to wish him the very best with the concert. You got it, Madam Ping! Thank He's you out. all. As for that melody, I will play it for you all another time. <laughs> Goodness knows I need to practice it first. Wow! That'd be great! <laughs> when that time comes, wherever her spirit may be among the countless grains of sand and specks of dust between the harbor and the mountains, perhaps... She will look at the Leoa of today and steal a smile when she sees the prosperous land that it has become. All right. Cool. All right. Let's Yay. go tell Mr. Dvorak the news. Oh, Mr. Dvorak, the hot woman that, you, uh, that your dad saw, your ancestor saw, uh, uh, I know you were excited to maybe get a smash on that, but I mean, no, bro, not happening. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. Ah, I'm sorry. I know everybody has hopes and dreams, but you kind of failed on that. My apologies, bro. <laughs> Stay away from the chicken if you want. Mr. Devoja! Ah, and Kuching's here too! Thanks for helping set all of this up. Welcome back. Did everything go well? Really, really well. We found the person Mr. Dvorak was looking for. Oh. Uh. Are you serious? Yep. You recounted the story of the fairy lady took a ching to four racked a border. Uh, I see. So the melody Vorak. my ancestor heard was an adventist remembering That's her name. late friend. Vorak. It's a silent D. Or it could be Dorak with a silent V. Or Dvrak with a silent O. Drak with a silent A. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> Silent A. Yeah. Because Dvak and then Dvok. Dvok. That certainly explains why it was such a powerful and poignant tune. Huh. That's a really interesting first reaction. Guess that comes with having a musical mind. Is that your way of saying he's crazy? I have to say, though, it, it's hard to believe that the fairy from the tale is now an elderly granny. Yeah, yeah, disappointment is reasonable, and his day is ruined. Oh, Paimon knows exactly what you mean. Normally, a dead guy don't age at all. It was a choice to be an old but woman. Street word Rambler, or Madam Ping as we know her, probably only became old because it's what she wanted for herself. Uh. Madam Ping possesses vast knowledge and great wisdom. Whatever physical form she may decide to take, her mind and wits are as sharp as they come. Yep, Kuching summed it up perfectly. That's exactly what Paimon was trying to say. I think... Are you sure, Paimon? Yes. I must thank her in person. That can wait until after the concert, though. For now, I need to devote all my emotional energy to the performance. Ah, speaking of, Madam Ping wishes you all the best at the music festival. Paimon has a sneaking suspicion that she'll stay 
normally in our usual spot, but listen to the performances from a fl- Wait, are you serious? Huh. Oh no, now I'm starting to get nervous. Relax, just do it like any other performance. Okay, alright. Nope, another rehearsal is in order. Please excuse me, everyone. And we never saw him again. We never saw him again. Mr. Dvorak? Oh, he's already gone. Paimon wasn't even finished telling him everything. Before we set off on our search with Ganyu, he asked us about what music means to people. After our recent adventure, Paimon thinks we have a lot more to say about that now. Please, share your insights with me. Yes, Kuching, you've kind of become obsolete after a while, but I mean, you're still one of the base characters in the game. Uh, Damage is well, shifted a little bit though, but I mean... Music can be used you. for good, but also for bad. Um, it can make people happy and moved, but it can also be sad and bittersweet. I feel like you're overcomplicating music. Music is dependent on the emotion of a person, can affect the emotion of the person, but in also a rhythm to make people dance. There you go. Done. And music is like a kind of memory written in people's hearts. It can put you in touch with feelings from a totally different time and place. That was a broad summary, but not the most detailed. <laughs> it sounds like you had an eventful trip. Don't worry, I'm sure Ganyu will fill me in on all the details shortly. Wait, does that mean you're gonna carry on working? Uh, are you surprised? Mm-hmm. That's Just a few things to wrap up. All the groundwork is done. A few things. 64 hours later and she's still working. As long as everyone enjoys the festival activities, all our efforts are worthwhile. Happy Lantern Rite. Happy Lantern Rite to you as well. He's out of drink. See you next Lantern Rite. <sighs> that should be everything taken care of, right? Oh, no, wait. My mom feels like she's forgetting something. Uh, what was it? Oh, it feels like it was a while ago. Yow yow, you crisps. Uh, shoot! Latent... Wait, no. Anyway, uh... Fancy bamboo shoots! Bamboozle soup. Jean Lee said he wasn't in a hurry, so if we went now, there's probably still time, right? Anyway, even if we don't make it, it's not our fault. He could have totally picked him by himself. True, he was a little too lazy for that shit. Anyway, let's go check with him at Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor. Okay, I'm almost done with this part of the event, and I can go relax again because I'm fucking tired. And tomorrow I record the end. We have hungry days. I have to finish tomorrow. I'm running on the cusp again, just like I did with the, uh, with the Kale quest. Hey, but these are our musically inclined geniuses. Let's go fetch Bob. <laughs> We're missing one. Cringe. Yo, whoever's typing in the English translation versus what the people are saying, bruh. Alright, let's take a break here. Yeah, but isn't strict Yunjin? Yunjin does not allow for breaks usually. Are you here to hang out with everyone's favorite funeral director? Don't worry, I'll see you in a few days, baby. So you're just casually practicing your rapping skills at the entrance to your funeral parlor? In broad daylight? Uh, okay. Hey, she's rapping for the spirits. Who said spirits don't like rapping? <laughs> don't, don't be a big spy, man. Spirits need rapping, too. You, uh, f freaking me out a little. <laughs> After everything we've been through, you don't see me for a hot minute, and you're back to being scared of your own shadow. A hot minute, you say? A hot minute. <laughs> sure. Let's call it that. We have all this open space. A clear view of the mountains behind and the sea in front. Not to mention we have several invisible audience members enthusiastically cheering us on. It's the perfect spot to rehearse. Uh, invisible audience members. Stay away from me. No choking, no touchy. Touch me. I'll call the demons. I will call the demons. Invisible audience members? <laughs> Gotta say, it took me a few days to get used to Director Who's way of talking. <laughs> Shinyan was pretty spooked too when she first got here. 
Just like when she sees a frog, but a giant frog with sharp teeth. Uh, yo, Yunjin, I know you're teasing, Jinyan, but that is our actual fear, alright? That is our actual fear. Come on, knock it off! What's wrong? I've never seen someone look so confused before. Well, don't worry, because Director Hu's here to explain it all. Who? <clears throat> there once was a Fontaine musician who went around town on a mission. He came door to door for his iridescence tour, looking for acts to audition. With my words, Shen Yan's chorus and Yunjin as our mentor, we'll take the stage by storm with flames roaring and the whole audience calling for more. Uh, okay. But I have to implore. Guizhong died on the shore, but tomorrow we're just going to ask for more. And at least we're going to get to pull you, whore. But alright, let's get to that port. I guess. Maybe. Hmm. For sure! The whole <laughs> dance floor will be yelling encore! Encore! Oh, now Paimon's rhyming along. Um, but when you say flames roaring, are you sure this will be safe? Um, uh, 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 good question. <laughs> oh, don't so you worry about that. It's a wooden floating. I'm pretty experienced on the stage, and I've already informed the Yuhong of all the pyrotechnics we're planning on using. We got two pyro characters. <laughs> Should we call for Klee and you and Yoimiya because they're more professionals at pyrotechnics and not killing things? I mean, you tell me Klee is not a professional, right? She, she might not know specifically when to blow things up. But have you seen her make a mistake to the point that uh, people died? Exactly. Exactly. She just blew up a mountain and a lake and a fish. Boom. She didn't do shit. And me on the other hand though, it's just a... And a, a, a less explosion clear. But the fireworks look nice though. Oh, guess we'll just have to trust Shin Yan on this one. Have you seen the Zhong Li director? Who? Oh, Zhang Li. He took one of those fancy meal boxes and set off for the mountains. Said he wanted to pay a visit to some old friends. It's a real pity that he couldn't be around for this. As well as being a true connoisseur of traditional art forms, he's able to appreciate Xin Yan's performances too. Yeah, that's right. Matter of fact, he was the one who first invited me to perform here. To tell the truth though, I never thought I'd really find myself rehearsing here one day. Yeah, you're busy dancing for the spirits. Don't forget to add more oomph to the hip positions. <laughs> that ghost well, behind you, you is uh, really admiring. The Longsheng Funeral Parlor is a great location. All of you are always welcome to come and hang out here. Especially if you're in the mood to try something new. I can speak to that. What type of new are you speaking of? Food, of fun death, surprises. death, boxes, food, boxes? And jump scares. Actually, Xinyan, I have some lyric ideas for your part. Do you want to go through them together? Oh, sure thing. I'm all ears. Oh, Traveler and Paimon, I believe Zhang Li was heading to Mount Hulao, so make sure you're hiking up the right hill. Uh, uh, hey, 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 sometimes it's like barking up the wrong tree. We just need to get there via teleportation. We can skip the hiking and the barking. When you see Zhang Li, please pass on this message to him. It's up to him whether he wants to support us at the performance tonight. But I expect him to make time for the upcoming banquet we're planning. No excuses. Oh, you're fired. You should join us too. It'll be a riot. If there's one thing I've learned from being a funeral director, it's how to throw a party. You learned that from being a funeral director? She's a fun funeral director. <laughs> what can I say? Okay, everyone. I think that's a long enough break. Let's take it from the top, shall we? Ugh, Ms. Yun is such a strict mentor. These breaks aren't even long enough to have a sip of tea. <laughs> well, you were desperate to get involved, and this is what it takes. If I gave you half the chance, you'd be sipping tea till nightfall. Hey, how about I treat us all to some late-night snacks once we're done? Hotel, what you craving? Hmm, how about some stir-fried filet with a side of crab roe tofu? Sounds expensive. <laughs> Where are we gonna find crab roe tofu so late at night? Extra expensive. We could always just go pester masterful chef Zhang Ling. She must have the tofu somewhere. Mm, now I'm hungry. All right, let's knock this out and then go grab some food. Punch, KO. All right, I'll hate them. 
Time to enjoy the the Leeway sights. Sight, we teleporting. Hyman sees them. It's illuminated deer and illuminated bird number two. Uh, uh, pie one. It's only finally when it's. I, I mean, it's. They be thankful. What guy doesn't like glow in the dark things? Greetings, everyone. Long time no see. Hmm, a familiar face. Have you come from Liyue Harbor? How is the city nowadays? Everything's great! But you know, if you're so curious, you can always go and check it out for yourself! In fact, Moon Carver has been taking many walks on Mount Tianhang in recent times. I believe the sights of the city are quite familiar to him. Zhongli! Here you are! We've brought the bamboo shoots you wanted! Impeccable And the Othmanthus wine! I only put the essence bamboo shoots into the cooking mechanism next to me. Traditionally, bamboo shoot soup ought to be slow cooked for many hours on low heat. Using Adeptus arts to hasten the process is something of a shortcut. And the Othmanthus wine? I'm kind of jealous that you keep talking about it. I don't get to drink Wait, it. That mechanism. Is that? Indeed. Cloud Retainer kindly lent me her supreme cuisine machine. Ah, Zhongli is not cringing at that name, I would not know. Can we not just call it a cooking machine? Ugh, actually, never mind. She seems to take a lot of pride in her mechanical gizmos, so it's probably best if Paimon doesn't go changing the name willy-nilly. I trust that you found the answers you were seeking during your recent journey? Yes. Excellent. Excellent! The past should be remembered, but not overly dwelt upon. Our journey should be seen as a means to take on more from the world around us. When the bamboo shoot soup is ready, I must insist that you try some for yourself. Of course. Oh, Zhongli, who told us to tell you something. She said it's up to him whether he wants to support us at the performance tonight, but I expect him to make time for the upcoming banquet we're planning. No excuses. That's not how she said it. When she says performance, there's a lot more hype than that. The right music festival. As for the banquet, uh, she didn't tell us anything more about that, but she invited us to come as well. As you can see, I have a prior engagement with two Adepti friends of mine tonight. Please, give Director Who my best wishes for the performance. Man, if our Aether could be like, yo guys, I brought beer. Yay! <laughs> as for the banquet, hmm, <laughs> since the Director insists, Far be it from a mere consultant like myself to refuse. Yay! Then we'll see you there? Absolutely. Rex Lapis, the bamboo shoot soup is ready. Thank you. I will examine it right away. Mm. The appearance is exquisite. And the aroma rich and intense. The craftsmanship of oh, this machine is commendable the machine, indeed. Not the... not the... not the... Stu the not the food. Since you came all this way, you should not leave empty-handed. Please, take some soup. It tastes most exquisite while still warm. Now, allow me to show you something. We go here. We go here. And the book section is piping hot bamboo soup shoot. Shoot, shoot soup, yes. Uh, made in the Supreme Cuisine machine. Uh, it far exceeds they worth as cooking ingredients. Since the meal was created by an Adeptus, it shouldn't spoil even if you just leave it in your bag. How is Paimon even leaving it in a bag? How is this not completely obliterated? These are the questions. God, how much more four million? Yeah, four million. Yeah, my other account about 15 million more. To the uh, let's finish up the second part of this event in my Prime Gems. We didn't even get close, but okay. Alright, let's listen to the EN <laughs> slightly off beat. I'm honored to be here on the Iridescence Tour stage. Alright, without further ado, I'm Shinyan. This is Hutao, <laughs> and this is a little something called. <laughs> they could have at least let you, you like, you just join them. Please. She could have whipped out the opera randomly, dude, me or Okay. I'm up here blazing trails through the midnight sky. 
I feel like there's another verse that should have been there. There's definitely Does another verse that should have been there. Does anyone have any plans tomorrow? With another year behind us, I think we deserve a celebration of our own. Hmm. My treat. Interested? The Tian Xuan footing the bill? <laughs> I can't miss out on that. Yelling in the background being busy doing her work. <gasps> ah, Baiju. The character we all thought was the Arca did Arca at some point. Ah, Shao working on a on a festive night like this. You you always in these cutscenes, aren't you, Shao? The most important character in the game, yet we don't see him a lot anymore. Well, then again, he's been the most used character for events. I think. I think. It's between Zhongli and Zhao, but I think Zhao had more. Ah, the Genshin livestream orchestra. Nailing it again. I couldn't even put the effort to animate them into the cutscene. Can you? Beyblade! It's Beyblade! May the year ahead be a blessed one. Merry Christmas! It shall be. Is that Roth Mathis wine? Is that Roth Mathis wine? Master, the Shao Lanterns, I. Ha! Elementary! One shall fashion for you a Shao Lantern the likes of which the world has never seen. And you must take it to Liyue Harbor to display its magnificence for all. I swear, the Cloud Retainer treats Hina like such a daughter. It's, it's, it's a, an awesome sight. You guys, you, why didn't you animate the orchestra? There's no one standing in front of that dude. <sighs> Listen, there must be a ping! It could be Koizhong's spirit. That ping is far up on the mountain. I don't know what you're talking about. There's no one standing in front of you. I see a guitar. Someone with a guitar. What else have we got? No one else? There's someone with a guitar playing. So they couldn't animate more than a single guitar. It, it, it. Are they playing a recording? Come on, the orchestra don't need to be done dirty like that. Bullshit. Bullshit. That was bullshit. That was fine. But it's bullshit. I'm gonna done here. Yeah. I'm gonna done here. Yeah. This is my overlook. You can just... Why don't you do it? Like, subscribe. Smack face of the keyboard a couple of times. Still the notification set. Always don't forget to check out all our links in the description. Especially our main channel, Exhausted Gamers. Where we're playing Wait. something. Huh? I don't even know. No. Uh, but yeah, no. pray for me. So very brief. Are you roasting us? Are you roasting us? Just because Lumi is 500 years old, Ganyu is 500 years old, you're 20,000 and flap is flap. Uh, uh, yo, why are you hating on a the woman there in the background still throwing shit?